Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the most significant developments in modern defense technology, Iran's brand new air defense system. This isn't just another weapons upgrade, it's a declaration of capability, confidence, and strategy. Iran has officially unveiled a cutting-edge platform that combines long-range precision missiles, advanced radar systems, and modular launch vehicles, all built domestically. It's a system designed not only to protect the nation's skies, but to send a clear message to its adversaries. Iran can now stand on its own in defending against some of the most advanced aerial threats in the world. The exterior design immediately captures attention. Sleek, angular, and rugged, it reflects a perfect balance between mobility and armor protection. The system sits atop a heavy 8A8 tactical truck chassis, a powerful all-terrain vehicle capable of traversing deserts, mountain passes, and rugged front lines with ease. Every surface of the launcher vehicle has been engineered for operational efficiency. The missile tubes are housed in a reinforced rotating launcher that can elevate, align, and fire in under 15 seconds. On one side, massive rectangular canisters hold surface-to-air interceptors that can engage multiple targets simultaneously. The overall look is both modern and practical, clearly optimized for rapid deployment rather than parade display. At first glance, it feels like a hybrid between Russia's S-400 launcher and China's HQ-9, but with uniquely Iranian design cues that make it unmistakable. Moving to the interior, the control cabin is surprisingly compact yet advanced. Inside, a two-operator setup manages the system's targeting and command functions. The workspace glows with a soft green light from digital screens showing radar data, missile status, and target tracking information. Ergonomic seating, armored panels, and multifunction displays make it clear this isn't a prototype. It's a fully operational, combat-ready system. The short interior layout allows for maximum field efficiency, meaning the crew can deploy, aim, and engage targets within minutes. Iran has designed it with battlefield practicality in mind, ensuring the system can be operated by a small, well-trained crew rather than a large logistical team. Performance-wise, this system represents a dramatic leap for Iran's air defense capabilities. Early specifications released by the Iranian Defense Ministry claim an interception range of up to 300 kilometers, depending on the missile variant used. The system's radar, a phased array type, can detect, identify, and track over 100 targets simultaneously, ranging from low-flying drones to high-altitude fighter jets and cruise missiles. What makes this particularly impressive is that Iran developed it domestically, integrating years of lessons from foreign systems it studied under sanctions. Engineers claim it can even detect stealth aircraft under certain radar conditions, using frequency-diverse waveforms to expose low observable targets. The engagement radar rotates smoothly on a hydraulic mast, and its digital targeting processor can lock onto fast-moving threats within seconds. Iran's state television demonstrated the radar screen tracking a simulated enemy fighter entering Iranian airspace. And within moments, the launcher's canisters rotated and aligned for a virtual intercept. In practical terms, this means that Iran now possesses a credible multi-layered defense network. The new system can integrate seamlessly with shorter-range platforms like the Rod and the Corded series, creating overlapping coverage zones that make penetration by hostile aircraft or missiles far more difficult. The performance data released indicates that the interceptors can reach speeds exceeding Mach 6, using active radar homing guidance and high-explosive fragmentation warheads. The fire control software is reportedly AI-assisted, improving predictive trajectory calculations for maneuvering targets. In short, it's fast, smart, and deadly, a serious evolution from the earlier generations of Iranian air defense. Safety features in this system go far beyond basic crew protection. The launcher vehicle includes an automatic fire suppression system, NBC nuclear biological chemical, shielding for the cabin, and an independent power generator that allows operation even if disconnected from external sources. The radar units use frequency hopping and encrypted communications to prevent electronic jamming. Each missile tube has a temperature-controlled environment to maintain stability under harsh desert heat. In case of emergency, the system can relocate in under five minutes to avoid retaliatory strikes, a feature modeled after mobile Russian and Chinese platforms. This mobility ensures survivability under real combat conditions, allowing Iran to deploy and reposition rapidly across its vast territory. One of the most 
compelling aspects of this system is its set of unique selling points, the characteristics that make it distinct from anything Iran has produced before. First, it's entirely homegrown. Every component, from the radar antenna to the missile propulsion system, has been built within Iran's defense industry, making it immune to foreign sanctions and spare part shortages. Second, the cost-to-capability ratio is exceptional. While Western air defense systems like the U.S. Patriot or the Russian S-400 cost hundreds of millions of dollars per battery, Iranian officials claim their new platform can be produced for a fraction of that cost, around 20 to 25 million per complete battery. That affordability means Iran can produce dozens of units, dramatically expanding national coverage. Third, the modular design stands out. The radar, launcher, and command modules can operate together or independently allowing flexible deployment depending on the threat environment. A coastal defense unit, for instance, could use only the radar and command modules to provide tracking data to naval vessels. The missiles themselves are also modular, allowing for different seeker heads and propulsion stages depending on mission requirements. And finally, this system has been designed with export potential in mind. Sources in Tehran have hinted that friendly nations may eventually have access to export versions a move that could shift regional power dynamics in both the Middle East and beyond. The estimated price of Iran's new air defense system is one of its most intriguing elements. Analysts estimate the total unit cost, including launcher, radar, and command vehicle, to be between 20 and 30 million U.S. dollars. When compared to systems like the Patriot Pac-3, which can cost over 1 billion per full battery setup, Iran's system offers exceptional affordability. That cost efficiency comes from domestic production lines, simplified supply chains, and the absence of imported components. For Iran, it's not only a matter of saving money but also of independence. Every dollar spent stays within the national economy, fueling local industry, creating jobs, and reinforcing technological self-sufficiency. The price also carries symbolic value. It shows that advanced defense doesn't have to be exclusive to superpowers. Iran has positioned itself as a nation capable of building high-performance technology without relying on the West or even Russia. This message resonates strongly across developing nations that face similar restrictions and want to pursue indigenous defense solutions. The affordability combined with credible performance may open the door to future defense partnerships or exports under regional agreements. From a performance-to-price perspective, the system competes impressively even against global giants. While it may not have the same range as the S-400 or the same network integration as the U.S. Aegis system, its value lies in its versatility, independence, and scalability. Iran's engineers have effectively balanced high-end capability with cost-effective production, a combination few countries have achieved. It can engage both aerial and cruise missile threats, operate in electronic warfare environments, and integrate into Iran's nationwide radar grid that already includes long-range surveillance units. Another noteworthy factor is how the unveiling of this system plays into regional politics. The demonstration was not just about technology. It was also about messaging. By showcasing the new system on national television with senior military officials present, Iran was asserting that despite years of sanctions and international isolation, it can still innovate and defend itself. This announcement comes amid growing regional tensions making the timing as strategic as the technology itself. The system's unveiling coincided with joint military drills emphasizing air defense readiness, suggesting that Iran's leadership intends to use this new weapon both as a deterrent and a diplomatic signal. Experts have already noted how the new system could reshape the strategic calculus of neighboring countries. For years, Israel, Saudi Arabia, and the United States have relied on air superiority to project power in the region. A more capable Iranian defense network complicates that advantage, forcing adversaries to adapt their tactics and reconsider the risks of aerial operations near Iranian borders. Even if Iran's new system isn't as globally sophisticated as Western equivalents, its presence raises the cost of any potential strike against Iranian assets, a crucial factor in deterrence strategy. In terms of reliability and maintainability, Early reports indicate that Iran's defense ministry has focused on ease of production and servicing. The system's electronics use modular plug-and-play components reducing maintenance downtime. Mobile workshops can service the launcher and radar units in the field, 
without returning them to central bases. This kind of logistical simplicity is rare in advanced defense technology and shows how Iran is tailoring its innovations to its own operational realities, large territory, diverse climate, and the need for constant readiness. Safety and redundancy are built into the command architecture. The entire system can operate even if communication with the central network is lost, ensuring no single point of failure. Each launcher is capable of independent engagement based on its onboard radar feed. Anti-jamming algorithms, automatic target reacquisition, and backup power generators further enhance survivability. These features show how Iran has internalized decades of lessons from observing global conflicts and integrated those insights into its domestic designs. As for the broader implications, the system's debut marks a new era for Iran's military industry. It demonstrates that indigenous innovation can achieve levels once thought impossible under heavy sanctions. For global observers, it's a reminder that defense technology is no longer the monopoly of major powers. Iran's progress, whether one admires or fears it, is undeniably reshaping the regional defense landscape. In conclusion, Iran's new air defense system is more than a collection of missiles and radar units. It's a symbol of national resilience and technological maturity. Its design blends practicality with precision, offering a balance of range, reliability, and affordability that few nations can match. It's not just a machine for war, but a statement of sovereignty and self-reliance. By producing such an advanced system locally, Iran has shown the world that determination can overcome restriction and that innovation can flourish even in isolation. Whether this development leads to greater stability or new competition remains to be seen. But one thing is clear. The skies over the Middle East will never be viewed the same again.